Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we're going to review the ride of the Emotion V12 HD. So, woo, let me tell you more about it. <laughs> let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. First up, big thanks to my e-wheel for providing me this wheel for testing purposes. And if you, dear viewer, want to get a wheel like that, then feel free to use my coupon code WRONGWAY to get an additional 5% off. I also do receive kickbacks from these orders, so you also do help out the channel by using those links. Anyways, before we get into the review of the ride, let me maybe get you up to speed regarding the V12 and V12 HD. So, the V12s had a very bumpy start. First using you know, wrong MOSFETs, cutouts as well, but also sort of bug outs. I know, maybe that's a new word for it. Essentially where the wheel started accelerating by itself, causing the rider to fall. I experienced that, I was talking about it in my video, I think in the unboxing. And then they said to me that after the first bug out, I like changed the settings and then it would work again. And I had this again. So I was actually very reluctant to ride this wheel. It, it caused me a lot of ass pain, pain in the ass, literally, <laughs> the first time around. So now I have a different one. I got a new one. Uh, I guess it's a different batch. It also has a different tire and it should be all right. But you know, if, if a wheel does something like that, it does make some sort of permanent scarring in your mind. But I guess I'm over it a bit. I'm going 50 kilometers an hour. 60 even so that's why i'm here guys that's why i'm here to test this stuff for you and i really wanted to bring this review out before uh, i'm leaving to vancouver and the amped electric games also with those bug outs those weren't individual cases also a friend of mine michael had it on the v12 after changing to the new motherboard so i don't really know what the state with with this thing is right now it's fine for now, 100 kilometers driven. If I fall in this video, then it means it's not all right. I just hope that Emotion address this issue once and for all and that all of the problems are, are gone. With that said, I really wanted to tell you guys how the ride of the V12 HT feels and most importantly, if it's actually HT. So when it comes to ride, it's quite similar to the V12, uh, but it's just a bit more zippy. It's just a bit more easy to accelerate. Uh, and um, when it comes to just like the feeling of acceleration and, and, and torque, uh, it doesn't feel like super HD though. It still feels like you need to dig into it to make it move sort of. And especially after trying the Sherman Max, this feels sleepy. This really does feel sleepy, man. And I, it's so interesting because it's a 16 inch wheel. It should, should feel like light and nimble, but I really feel like I need to lean in a lot more than on the Sherman to, to make it move. I really love the feeling, the balance, the you know turning of the V12, I always did. Uh, and here it's you know really similar, just with a bit of a different tire. I like the initial knobby a lot more than the one that is on here right now. Just like because the turning there was more, there just was like more feedback. It was reacting quicker. Uh, but this one is totally all right too. So with this knob, you feel like you lean a bit, nothing happens, and then it sort of grips into the turn. But it's absolutely all right. And I really love the fact that the tire is thicker here. So there's less of a possibility for rim damage. And additionally, on top of that, you can get like better bunks and like jump more, ride with lower pressure. Another thing, another thing that I noticed is that there's like some sort of looseness on it like it's almost like a loose axle but i know it's not a loose axle so that's weird and also if you put it down a stair it starts to vibrate hope you can see that very weird so yeah i, I guess the v12 hd has some general improvements not only in the torque department but also tire and like components but other than that very similar range i guess similar weights similar design and yeah, I, I, it's not a bad thing. I still love the V12 and I love riding on it. If I get over the fear and it actually 
stays dependable for me and I don't land on my ass again, I think it's, it's really awesome to ride this wheel. Uh, even though it's maybe not as responsive, not as, doesn't feel definitely as torquey as the veteran Sherman. So for now, I think I'll leave you with that. As a, you know, non-suspension commuter wheel, it's still one of my favorites if it works and if it stays uh, dependable. I will try the 40 degree incline now. We'll see how it goes there. I think it can't do it actually, but we'll see. And let's go. All right, with some trouble, but please get off. It says, warning by dangerous driving, please do not drive excessively. So it made the incline. It didn't seem to be like a lot better than on the V12 and you heard the motor screaming so much all the time. Uh, but it made it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like super HT though. Like HT wheels don't have problems with this sort of incline. I can try once again though, just to see how it goes. A bit more grip maybe. Yeah. So you can see what's happening. Like, this is not HT. If you ask me, this is more H more HT than the regular HS, but not by a like super big margin. I think they would need to just put more phase amps into the motor to make it actually uh, HT, because this is like as much torque, basically maybe tad more than a 16X or even less. I don't know. I guess now you know. I'm glad I do these tests. <laughs> so with that said, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. It's green, it's green. Bye.